this is Mrs. May. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing another not in LA Q&A or should I say poolside Q&A because I've done one of these before. It's actually really really nice. I enjoyed doing it because I get to be outside in the sun in a pool where it's nice and cold. So I'm in Palm Springs right now and I asked you guys to send me a couple of questions on Twitter and you guys seem to be really interested in a lot of weird things but let's just get started. We're starting off with a question straight from Satan. We're just kidding. It's from Senpai Gaiden. Would you rather step on the Lego barefoot or would you rather get shot in the face with a rubber band? I've been shot in the face with a BB gun before and that was really painful. And I've been shot in, in the face with a rubber band once before as well. My, my cousin used to love making these little mechanical wooden guns and it was sick. It actually fired with a trigger. He did a really great job at it. He shot my grandma in the face with that and I don't think she enjoyed it. And I've also stepped on Lego barefoot and that's no fun. However, I can say that I prefer the pain of stepping on Lego barefoot than getting shot in the face with a BB gun or a rubber band. It's a lot less painful and the pain goes away a lot faster and probably less dangerous because there's less of a chance of you going blind. The okay, next question is from Bryce. What is my favorite YouTube or Twitch moment? Some of you guys may know that I stream fairly late and on those late nights, I like to just hang out with you guys. I Sometimes I won't be playing a game, other times I will be playing a game, but it'll be conversations about music, life, and a lot of other random things in general. One of my favorite moments would have to be one night where all we did was share music and it was just people requesting a lot of different types of music. I get to share some of my favorite bands with you guys and you guys get to share some of your favorite artists and type of genres with me and I like that. I like that a lot. I really, really enjoyed it. It got to let me know you guys on a much deeper level than just you know gaming or watching my videos so that was really really comforting and it made me feel like I'm talking to more you know humans out there than just a computer with a keyboard. Sarah asks if you could go back in time would you change anything in your life? A huge part of my high school was just me being a loner and being by myself. Part of me wonders like if I had made friends, if I had been a little bit more friendly, would things be different now? The thing is, I don't want things to change at all. I like where I'm at, I like what I do, I like what I do for you guys and I, how I get to live for myself. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so I don't know to be honest. I mean, I wonder if it would shape anything or make things different. I was bullied in high school and I feel like you know, the bullying actually helped me become the person that I am today. Be more strong-willed, be more determined, be more willing to prove people wrong. I can make something out of myself. Pauline Slade asks, what do you recommend on Netflix? Do you want to Netflix and chill there, Colleen? Do you want to Netflix and chill? There's one movie I absolutely love. I do not know if it's on Netflix anymore. And it's called Cashback. It's an indie film about this guy who's an artist and he could freeze time with his mind. If you watch it, I don't want to. I don't want to give any more spoilers, and I don't want to talk too much about it because it really is worth watching. Please do. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed it because it's one of my favorite films of all time. Ralph V asks, will you do a meetup anytime soon? I would love to. I'm actually going to Philadelphia and New York two weeks from now, two weekends from now, and I'm planning on doing a meetup in New York. I'm not sure where at exactly, so keep an eye out on the channel for any announcements on any meetups. If you guys are in New York, I'd absolutely love to hug you, and thank you for all the support personally. Um, and I'm also going to be going to Seattle in October, uh, first weekend of October. So if you guys would like to meet up there as well, let me know. I don't know how many maniacs I have anywhere. So let me know in the comment section below where you live. If you are in Seattle, or if you're in New York, or if you're in Los Angeles, because I live in Los Angeles, let me know in the comment section below so we can actually try to plan a meetup that works for most of us maniacs. Jimmy L asks, how much wood would woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yes. Martin asks, how are you enjoying Black Ops 3? I love the game. It is so much fun. It's nothing like Advanced Warfare or Ghost. 
I, well, first of all, just the way the maps look, the colors, we are back to Black Ops 2 colors. Like, it's great. It doesn't feel depressing. It doesn't feel sad to look at. The aesthetics of the maps are great. They're just beautiful. They're just, there's color. There's color, just like everything in the world. There's color. You actually see color, and it's not just brown to dirty brown. And also, the fact that it's no more exosuits and you can actually just double jump and you can control how high you are, how high you go, where you go, and when you jump, you can actually shoot people. I feel like that's such a huge turning point in this game because it really is such a fast-paced game. I think the best part about the game is the specialists because you can always counteract the way someone else plays by using a different specialist. But I think there's still a lot more that we need to see, but so far, from what I know from the beta and from playing it from E3, it's been a great experience. I want to know what is the most awkward thing I've ever done. This is going to take a while because I'm a very awkward person in general. I'm really, really weird. Uh, well, there was this one time I was at an E3 party and this, is, this was more um, embarrassing after the fact. <laughs> But we were at an E3 party and I had been a little bit drunk and a little bit inebriated and I went up to Gaming Terrorizer or Brian as some of you guys may know him and I nut checked him twice and I think I hit him in the balls pretty hard and I don't remember doing this. I was told by Louie the next day that I had done this and I can't begin to tell you guys how embarrassed I felt realizing that I have done this. I, I thought to myself, yeah, this is probably not something that I would not do. This is definitely something I would do in my drunken state. And I was thoroughly embarrassed. The next time I saw Brian, I apologized. And I, you know, I mean, he was a good sport about it after her. And it, it was just really, really embarrassing. Note to self, wear a cup whenever you're around me drunk. Because apparently I will not check you. Jackson asks, what is it like being a YouTuber? And would you ever want to do anything else? I love being a YouTuber. I love being able to stream on Twitch and hang out with you guys. Um, and and I it's so much fun. But one thing that people don't really understand about YouTube is that there is a lot of work that gets put into it. There is a lot of effort that you have to put to remain relevant, to continue to make entertaining and funny videos. And I don't think that people really understand the amount of effort and work that you have to put in to make a su successful channel and to continue to have it grow in a successful rate. But the question if I'd rather do anything else, no. I love doing this. I love making you guys smile. I love getting the comments of you guys saying that you really enjoyed this video for me to do more, to doing what I'm doing. It, it validates what I do and it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. To me, what matters the most, rather than the view count, rather than the subscriber count, is if I'm doing things right by you guys, if I'm making you guys smile, if I'm making you guys laugh, if I'm changing one crappy day into somewhat tolerable day, like to me that matters because I remember being young and looking up to like to these shows, these Disney shows that distract me and it actually helped me get through a lot of depression or like music and if you guys can use me for that then that means so much to me and and this is why I do this. This is why I would do YouTube and Twitch. Wow bug, you are really loud. Are you alright? Are you dying? Are you calling for a, a mate or someone to like touch tips with? What is going on? Anyway, I think that guy just wants me to stop. I think he's done with what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to press that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. I upload around random videos like this. And as always, I'll see you guys online. Bye.